Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 2D MoGraph scene like this one, you know, you know, like it's just kind of like a simple thing. You have some elements, camera pan, some parallax. Uh, we're going to go over all that shit and yeah, it's going to be real quick. So you can kind of see how it is here and I could just run through all of these and just like, you know, boom, 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 boom. But I'm going to kind of try to put it in a graphic to like explain it. So we are going to move to a different different project file just so I can I guess make an example. It's gonna be a really basic one, but I do have a graphic made for it right here. Which basically to make a 2D scene, or at least how I do it for MoGraph, um, is you kind of do it like layers and I mean, it is kind of weird that we're using nodes and just simulating layers anyways, but that's kind of like my system. And we kind of lay out everything like this, yeah? And we have a camera at the end to like pan shit around, which is like a transform node. Um, yeah, and this is just like a really easy way to organize it, keep shit organized, uh, I don't know. And just makes things easier to understand when you like go back to your compositions and try and make changes or other shit like that. So, we're gonna do that right now. So, first thing you wanna do is start off with the background. Um, and this is kind of important because this this is the one, this node is gonna be the one that sets like, you know, your output. This is, this is the thing that you're gonna be merging everything onto. So you need to make sure that, you know, this is your target resolution, this is what you start with. Um, and let's just like, I guess I'll just do like a quick example. We're just gonna have some text and we're gonna merge it onto the background like this. And how I, how I like to have things set up you know just like the graphic shows right here is layers so we kind of have like this and we're just gonna like let me just change the font to get to a font that i like boom 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 boom, boom. and i'm just gonna make a super quick example to make it kind of just like demonstrate you know and okay so this is kind of how it should be um this would be the, so yeah background we're gonna change the background color because i don't like black you gonna do like uh let me see let me see this blue color okay um and we're not gonna be animating shit so let's just get rid of that so we have our spline or no now that we don't have a spline um get rid of that we got rid of that um uh, fuck i just lost my train of thought but we're gonna keep on going so let's just get some text down and we'll just figure stuff out right there boom 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 and an important thing to notice or to note down is some of these nodes like the text node how they have their own move tool don't touch it just don't touch it you know just leave it leave it how it is and i know it looks kind of weird right now how it is but your the ideal way to have it for like ultimate flexibility and shit is to have transform nodes for separate ones and make sure that you label them to just keep track of them because at least for me how i do MoGraph is sometimes i use multiple transform nodes to get more complex movements so i kind of either label them like pause for position or like spin for like rotation or just like the labeling the motion itself um like up down left right but so with this one let's just leave this here leave this over here and move this like all the way over here um just to like showcase that like that's how you arrange it in your scene and then we add another transform in the end and we could label that as our camera and our camera well it's exactly what it sounds like um it's a thing that allows you to do this and you can see here that the background that we merged onto previously doesn't it's not you know look at that like it's you know it's like cropped out like that so the solution for that is to make this a transparent black background Okay, because this is kind of just what is this just sets like the resolution of this whole composition kind of and what you actually want to have now is another background that doesn't move. It's just going to be like a solid background, you know, and we're going to have this one merge on top and then connect it here and then this one will be our actual background and then oh. Let me just move that back, just keep things organized, and boom, you can see how our camera, all of our different thingies, um, and this is important because, 
I honestly forgot what I was talking about. But going back to the whole thing about like the text thing, um, but yeah, now some of these elements you just don't, you just want to keep it all in like these own transform thingies. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I guess I could talk about, um, we could do parallax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do parallax. That works. Um, so to get parallax, it's not that difficult. So we're just going to organize our comp to be a little bit different. I'm kind of winging it right now. But essentially, it's going to be kind of the same thing, you know? Um, let me just set it up. I'm just going to copy all of this over so I have like the skeleton of it. It's just easier to work with. Um, so let me see. Let me see. This one, we're going to get some uh, thingies. Let me just make some shit. We're going to make some circles or whatever. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Boom. Make that white. Uh, make this one. You don't have to copy any of this. I'm just showing it. And I know some people are asking for like tutorials on like certain things, but like I'm not the thinker. I'm kind of just showing people how to do things like generally, but not like, you know, specifically. I have no idea what I'm saying, but uh, let me see. Let's just merge this, merge this on top. And you can see how we're kind of building upwards. This is kind of how my workflow works for motion graphics. So you could treat this like a group and then, you know, merging layers, then it's kind of like the same system. Like these are layers and they're merging up again. It just, it just works. I don't know for like building scenes and shit. Um, it's not the idea. It's not like, it's not the one and only way you could obviously, um, you could obviously still have like your scenes go like this and you have shit plug into it like that. But it's like, that's kind of hard to keep track of. Um, I like this one because you stay organized and you can kind of organize everything and space it out like this to keep it, you know, not fucked up. So, okay. We're talking about parallax. I got off topic. But for parallax, what you want to do is you want to copy your camera, control C, and you want to make an instance of it, which is control shift V. So boom. Okay. And let's just connect this here and connect this here. And the way to get parallax, um, here, actually, let me arrange the things in this scene first. Let's just have this circle. We'll go right here. This circle. Actually, we're not going to actually fuck it. We're not going to touch it. Now, in order to get the parallax, what you want to do is add another transform and, you know, always label your nodes so you stay organized and shit. So parallax and the only thing that you are going to touch in this node is the size. Why does that work? Like, what's like, you know, what, what does this do? How does that introduce parallax? Um, I guess I'll just show it right now. I'll try and like illustrate how it could be do parallax. So I'm just gonna load up affinity photo and make a project. So let's say we have like a let's say we have like a move, like a like a root like a like a transform and this is the path of it. So we're just gonna do like wah 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 like this, right? Let's do it kind of small. And for the parallax, why we have the size, like why we change the size of the thingy of this, like of all of the entire scene, about like, you know, after the camera is so let's copy and paste. So let's say we increase the size, right? And you see it kind of does this, like, you know, it kind of moves back like the same transform, but it's kind of like this. We do the same shit again, and we do it downwards, like we scale it down. You see how it creates that, you know, depth parallax shit. It's not an actual camera. You're not going to be able to do any like 3D movements aside from just panning around, but it gives you that illusion. So we're going to do that. I don't really know what value to set this to, but this is going to be like in the foreground. So we're going to set the parallax or the size to like 1.7 or something. It might be like a really over exaggerated. Oh, well, it'd be like that. Let's just get our circles in the spots that we want it. When you're doing parallax, you do want to set the, you want to set the parallax first and then add all your other thingies just because And I just realized that these, these should all be like different colors just so that it's easier to discern and you can see here when we move the camera around there is a parallax effect for the thing i know this is such like a shitty example and i did not really plan out like i don't have an example scene aside from the original mograph so this one's kind of ass but that is how you get the parallax you know and you have like your one camera 
look, look at it look at look at go it move you know wah, 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 like that and yeah let me zoom in so it's kind of like yeah there's a parallax like this and you're able to have like a scene or like I don't know I think you can yeah you can do angle too there's kind of parallax in the angle um but yeah and um I guess let's let's talk about the camera more um the camera isn't limited to like what the definition of the camera for like for me at least is just all the move all of the transform nodes after your group of elements so we have like your elements and shit and then you have the camera and I know there's only one node here but you can have multiple transform nodes because layering transform nodes allows you to get more complex movements and you can kind of you can kind of get creative with it um so we could add like another transform and I'll also make sure to add another instance of it it has to be boom bo 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 bo. connect that this one and make sure to have your all your camera shit before the parallax so that you're able to you know keep it and this transform you can have it be like a rotation or like some other thing you can just layer it on i don't know exactly how it all interacts with one another but you can kind of just like do it you know but in general you do want to have this i could be wrong i could be wrong you do want to have let me just change this back to center you do want to have your angle be first like you want to rotate before you do any movement just so that you avoid any um like offset pivot point shit where then when you rotate it it's kind of like goofy i know it's kind of a bad example but yeah yeah see look when you move it if you have it all in one node you have like position and then you try rotating it and it rotates around there and if you want it like that i mean you can like go for it i'm not stopping you but if you want it to be where the camera just rotates always on the center point you want to make sure that you save that one of your quote-unquote camera nodes is just dedicated to the angle always the first one and then the next one is like the movement one see and then you could like do all that shit um that's about it we're just gonna i guess we'll just go back to the thing and i will show um and i'll just show the scene again Kind of like just to like i don't know to see you know identify all the shit that i did and kind of just like show it again so we're gonna let that load and yeah all right let's just move through the composition um so you can see here it looks a little bit different compared to how this is done because it's basically like all of this except it's turned this way <laughs> um, so it looks a little bit weird but it, it's all the same shit you know um, we have background it's transparent we layer all of our shit on top of it you know all the all the elements we move it separately you can see they're named with the spins first the positions and the transforms after you can you know sprinkle in some effects you just got to make sure to watch out for the border because when you do use effects like extrude and stuff you do run into problems where you know you have to watch out for this you make sure you don't go above like especially with glows or blurs um unless you use a blur that uh doesn't Unless you use a blur where you can send the clipping mode to none, then you're okay. But you always got to watch out if it clips the frame. So, anyways, yeah, you know, you could see all the things are layered out. Boom, 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 boom. Camera. Yep, yep, camera. A second camera. Because we have a second camera movement right here. And I don't really like having multiple... Uh, I don't really know if I think I can show this. Let me just go back. I don't really like having multiple points when it comes to, like pertaining to movement in order to stay organized and make it easier to edit movements and shit um i like having like movement like camera like this camera movement we have this one thing right but i don't want to have multiple points in it and then like i have like a thing that goes here like that's just too complicated and it gets like kind of fiddly and shit you know separating stuff makes it easier because if you want to edit a specific movement like a specific movement then you just like you just drag it in you edit this one or you edit this one or boom so if you have multiple transforms labeled like left right down up 
you know all the different camera movements and you want to change the specific properties of each one you can just like drag it in do your shit and then get out whatever um anyways moving on all right so we have three different layers of parallax here so we have the text in the foreground um some shit in the background and more circles in the front so let's let's look at the background layer we have blank background of course we have this thingy right here this really small thing in the back and yeah 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 let me just bring that shit up i don't know i kind of lost my train of thought so i'm trying to get, trying to get back into it um also keeping track of my pc to make sure it doesn't die um but you can see how all the individual movements kind of move together but let's look at the parallax node um you can see here if i can find it this one see um parallax node why is the angle whatever we just whatever um the size 0.72 so it's like slight parallax how you know it's scaled down so the movement's going to be less than the original camera um then for this parallax it's 1.25 so it's slightly bigger and from the graphic that i showed earlier the little picture that i just made um you know it's going to be faster so yeah uh i guess i could show that right now let me just and it's really slight because i, I didn't really do it but there's a very parallax effect you can more back the back circle and my gpu fucking skyrocketed that's a little bit goofy um but yeah you know in general it's like it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah that's kind of all i have to say i honestly forgot what i was supposed to be talking about but i covered all the things that i wanted to cover um you know the whole layer thingy don't touch the merge nodes we have our camera which could be multi which could be multiple nodes uh use multiple transform nodes because why not and um just stay organized you know these are all like i mean i know in this mograph project i kind of used some different things instead of the regular layered stuff that i do i, I decided i wanted to do a lot of 3d um because you can do you can do it in 3d if you want to it's a lot messier but i mean go for it um but you can just stay kind of organized with you know the whole layer method and just kind of grouping things separately you know like even even in this one in this you can kind of tell where each individual scene is it goes one's here one's here one's here one's here one's here all that um another thing if you're making mograph would be that switch nodes or switch fuses are the nodes that you use to cut in between scenes um, you can see here, that's like, like that's the only way you're going to cut in between like multiple compositions um, effectively. And it's also how you, um, it, it's just the right way to do it, you know, because, you know, boom, boom, it shuts off this input so it doesn't render anything else before it. And then it goes to the next one. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm literally done. Goodbye.